NBC15's Lauren Winfrey spent the day talking to other local leaders in person. And she joins us now with more reaction from leaders in the LGBT community. Lauren? John and Lee, those a part of the LGBT community here in Madison say yesterday's mass shooting is a reminder of the kind of hatred that still exists in this country. They say it's quite clear that there are people who want to harm this particular community, and right now safety is one of their biggest concerns. And now they're turning their attention to the work that needs to be done moving forward. This is Pride Month for the LGBT community, but here in Madison, the community will celebrate with a parade and rally in August. Outreach Executive Director Steve Starkey says there is a plan in place to address the issue of safety and he hopes Sunday's shooting doesn't deter people from coming together and celebrating who they are. We work with the Madison Police Department um, and have uh, a number of officers. We've also worked with the Capitol Police um, and so try to have as good of, of uh, security and crowd uh, protection um, as we possibly can and have emergency plans in place. Starkey and his team aren't the only ones planning for the future. Just a few miles down the road, Corey Gresset, the owner of Plan B Nightclub, says tackling safety concerns used to be something discussed only theoretically, but the Orlando mass shooting confirms the reality of the safety precautions he and his staff plan to reevaluate. It's very theoretical, you know, what if a, a bomber comes, what if a shooter comes, like, and there was all theory, um, but now it's like reality. <laughs> so it's a much more different conversation, and uh, we've scheduled a meeting for this coming week to, you know, go over it again and discuss, like, just discuss it more in depth. Now, the South Central Wisconsin LGBT Community Center tells me there will be a vigil tonight. It's planned for 7 o'clock at the Capitol near the top of East Washington.